What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And when you put out 25 videos, 30 videos a week, you have a full-time job and a wife to pay attention to, you really, really pick your spots in terms of what video games you want to play. To me, Ghost of Tsushima is one of the games that I saw and I knew I wanted to play. Yeah, the gameplay looked a little bit like, you know, kind of just the Assassin's Creed type play out with kind of a Japanese skin. But the game has turned out to be, uh, in the very early stages, I would say significantly more than that. And what I can say after just a few hours of the game, it is the most visually stunning piece of media I have ever seen. That means not just video games. I'm talking movies, television, streaming, there are many times that in just the first few hours, I've just sat there looking around. The last video game that really did that for me was Red Dead Redemption 2. But I think it was more so because of the romantic uh, uh, connection I have to kind of West, the old West. I'm a big fan of Westerns. It was just cool to finally be in my own Western. That's how... Red Dead Redemption 2 felt for me. And that's why I made sure I carved out time to play and complete that game. With Ghost of Tsushima, uh, I'm feeling the same. That's just what I like out of video games. I don't necessarily need nonstop action. I don't need... But some people do. That's the beauty of it. There's literally something for everybody in every video game out there. Uh, maybe you like FPS games. Maybe you like RPGs. Maybe you like the 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 telltale games whatever it's awesome whatever you're into is awesome because you like it for me ghost of tsushima i'm sure won't when i'm done with it won't be a perfect game red dead redemption 2 wasn't a perfect game to me even though it was a game that i loved that it was one of the most memorable games i've played outside of maybe a dragon quest game or final fantasies uh final fantasy 7 on playstation back in the day ghosts of tsushima and by the way none of those games were perfect uh final fantasy 7 was probably the closest red dead redemption 2 for me is still like an 85 to 90 the mechanics were old, the gameplay engine was old, but the story was amazing. If I had to rate um, Red Dead Redemption 2, I'd give it like probably an 85. But it's still, to me, one of my all-time favorite games. Ghost of Tsushima is being praised by Japanese critics. Uh, this uh, via Kotaku Australia. Often when foreigners bring Japan to life, they don't quite hit their mark. Sometimes their vision of... The country is eye-rollingly egregious, but sometimes they portray it in a way that even the Japanese praise. According to early reviews in Japan, Ghost of Tsushima is an example of the former. A handful of the biggest print publications and sites have posted their reviews, all giving their seal of approval with the game's depiction at the uh, Kamakura era, or a depiction of the Kamakura era, which is from 1185 to 1333. Honestly, though, considering Sony Interactive Entertainment is publishing the game, I would be more surprised if Ghost of Tsushima uh, messed it up, it messed up the depiction. The Japanese reviewers, however, do seem impressed, uh, seem to express a sense of relief. Um, with anything, there is inevitable, it's inevitably to be players who have quibbles, but so far, the critical consensus of Ghost of Tsushima does an admirable. Uh, of does Admiral bringing the 13th century of Japan to life? Have a look at what some of the publications have had to say. I like it's funny that Kotaku.com is literally just reprinting other game journals' reviews, but nonetheless, look at Famatsu. Weekly, uh, Famatsu gave Ghost of Tsushima a perfect score. This is only the third game. Third time a Western game has gotten a perfect score, with Ghost taking place alongside Elder Scrolls V and Grand Theft Auto V. Like other reviewers, Famatsu found nothing odd or off-putting about the game's depiction of Japan. In fact, one of the subheadings in the Famatsu review is, quote, There is no sense of discomfort in the foreign-made Japanese world. Because foreigners so often get their depictions of Japan wrong, whether it's on the big or small stuff, Japanese players rightly have concerns that Ghost of Tsushima would be no exception. According to Famatsu, it is. 
As it notes, when people outside Japan depict their culture, they tend to pepper their creations with strange incorrect language and mix Japanese culture with Korean and Chinese culture, collapsing Asia into a single monolith. Famatsu admitted that it didn't know how the re how real the game's depiction of the era was, but explained that nothing about it felt odd. That the fictional account of the period in that they regard in that regard, Famatsu believes the game succeeds. Interestingly, one nitpick they had was regarding the speed at which characters speak. For Famatsu, the dialogue's temp is much faster than it should be for the time. Uh, that's a really obviously a super small thing. Um, but you know, I don't cover the good. We know the game is good. If we look at um, Metacritic, which I may cover this later today, Metacritic's uh, user review embargo is still on, which, you know, I think is interesting to me. So I have a separate video on this because it's frustrating. So you're forcing users to wait until tomorrow at noon, by the way, 36 hours from release, I believe it is, to leave a review. But there's absolutely no delaying critics. You have no idea. So, 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 so the nexus of this, or so the the idea here is that if you make players wait 36 hours, then they will have played the game. It literally says, "Please spend some time playing the game. Come back and start reviewing on July 19th." Well, how do you know the critics put any time into it? You don't. They could just. I mean, there are there are reviews from critics who never put a minute into the game, guaranteed. But there are also reviews from players who never put him into the game. Also guaranteed. You have 84 positive and 10 mixed. Not a lot to complain about there. Now, they don't have the amount, the raw sheer numbers of perfect 100 out of 100s that The Last of Us 2 had. But it does have its fair share from gaming age. We got this covered. How in the heck are they on this site? We got this covered. Oh my god. Um, ZTGD, Screen Rant, okay, it's Daily Star, so not, none of these video, none, no, none big out, no big outlets. Dark Station Video Chumps. Then we get down to Game Informer, you know, Destructoid. If we look at the big outlets, they've gone away from giving positive or negative scores. And generally when I look at a game, I'm more interested in the middling reviews, uh, ones that don't think a game is perfect by any means, because I don't believe that there is a perfect game out there, uh, other than maybe Fester's Quest. Um, but you see like people like the Washington Post and Level Up and Power Unlimited giving it 80s. Okay, but let's look at some of these. The lowest review the game got was a 60. Um, from let's say, let's find the biggest outlet among these. The Guardian, Telegraph, well, let's look at uh, VG247, which is a piece of garbage website too. It has its moments, but in its opening hours, it passed hold, uh, the past holds it back. The open world, the video game, it's far too easy to the lack of consequence for failure makes it feel like you're just going through the motions. If you'll excuse the wind-based pun, it's a breeze. While playing it, I often find my mind wandering. By the third and final act, I just wanted it to be over. Like the samurai, Ghost of Tsushima feels like a relic of a bygone era. Dang, you really called the game boring? I, I'm not bored at all. But again, different strokes for different folks. Maybe they just like terrible video games. <laughs> I don't think it's a 60. That's absurd. Uh, the Guardian. Unlike Assassin's Creed, which always uses historical settings as stages for its own eccentric stories, Ghost of Tsushima sticks so closer to the tropes and storylines of classic samurai fiction that it sometimes forgets to have a personality of its own. Well, yeah, but that's why I bought the game. I bought the game because I want to experience that samurai experience. I didn't buy the game because I wanted a samurai skin uh, that jumps into modern day eras, modern day politics. What, what do you mean? Am I wrong here? Let me know if you bought Ghost of Tsushima and you thought, boy, I really hope it fakes me out. I really hope that it's not actually samurai related. And then we get, I mean, Twitter is the best. Twitter is the best. You get The Last of Us 2. This girl-on-girl uh, -girl relationship is too political. Ghost of Tsushima. The game is about nationalism, traditionalism, and, the, and, and war. Is not political. This is a common, um, willing, 
misinter and misinterpretation of the people that don't like politics in their video games. It's never been, it's never been that people don't want ma uh, uh, political things in their video games. It's never been that you can't have these type of things, traditionalism. I mean, heck, the most popular game series in the world, Call of Duty, is literally about that. It's 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 that people don't want modern day politics ham fisted into their video games. And and people willingly misrepresent that. See Naughty Dog Ghost of Tsushima is a prime example of how you keep politics out of your game about national identity, nationalism, cultural tradition, and fighting back against literal genocide. I mean, could it be that, you know, there are people I'm just saying. Could it be that some of these reviews are artificially lower because they're salty? I mean, to me, there's a lot of these. Here's one. Ghost of Tsushima is quickly becoming a fascinating, fascinating cultural flashpoint. Supposedly, there's complaints of various historical issues, incorrect, in its setting and story. These complaints are extremely interesting to me. Here's a snippet from the lowest rated critic review to look at it. However... Oh my god, it's so perfect. It's so perfect. The last was two is that the first sentence. However, as much as I had issues with the last was two's narrative, it was an American story told by Americans, and it had a thematic and tonal resonance as such. It was consistent and uncompromised. Ghost of Tsushima, by contrast, is a wild misfire with every narrative element it attempts, and it boils down to this. Sucker Punch didn't uh, decided to do a historically ep historical epic inspired by Kur Kurosawa and produce something that fails at both history and the pastiche of Kurosawa. But Japan doesn't agree with you. This is just another white person, uh, Westerner. By the way, Japan, this is why I love Japan. One day I promise to my Japanese viewers, I know there are several, I will come visit you. I really, before I'm 40, I really want to go to Japan. Um, and I want to play in your big um, Sega UFO crane arcades. Uh, they go on to say, there's going to be a lot of people that love this game, but I don't think that should be overlooked nor dismissed as irrelevant to the product, to, to the quality of both as artwork and entertainment. Literally what? All the people complaining that Ghost of Tsushima is like cultural appropriation. Has anyone asked the Italians about Italian culture when the create, uh, when the creation of Mario and Luigi yet? <laughs> Remember when privileged Westerners got mad on behalf of Japanese people over Ghost of Tsushima, crying that Western de Westerners developed a samurai game, whining about cultural appropriation with all that? Apparently people in Japan don't listen to Westerners that much. Exactly. Exactly. Who Who is even the salt of Tsushima? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, the game's great. Here's what my prediction is going to be. Here's my prediction for a user score. My prediction for user score for Ghost of Tsushima. Um, actually, we should check on. We should check on. We should just check on. No, last was two. Has it? Has it finally, finally achieved a six? I'm gonna say the user score for Ghost of Tsushima is gonna be close to a nine out of ten. That's where I'm gonna say. Why? Well, because, um, first of all, it's not divisive to a fan base which is going to discourage a lot of like review brigading uh, second of all the game is truly beautiful the game delivers what it promised to me at least early on uh the gameplay is decent um obviously if it has a terrible second or third act maybe i'll change my mind but right now it's an 8.5 maybe a 9 for me um I, apparently uh you still can't pull up the last of us two very easily on metacritic's website that's fine oh there we go 5.5 yeah i'm gonna guess that it's gonna be a nine 8.5 to nine let me know what you think in the comments in the comment section down below and we'll talk to you again real soon